Headmaster, Dr McEwen, Deputy Headmaster, Mr Davies, invited guests, staff and fellow students. Today I would like to talk to you about the importance of having goals and in particular understand, understanding that failing is a natural part of achieving your goals and understanding that most goals are achieved with the help and guidance of the connections around you. I believe that it is very important to have goals. These are the things that motivate us to strive to improve and excel. The problem is goals are not always easy to achieve. Often it is necessary to fail many times before success is achieved. Often goals cannot be reached without the help and guidance of others. And many times, despite your best effort, a goal simply cannot be reached. Michael Jordan, who most people know as the best basketball, basketball player of all time, once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games and 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. As a young person, Jordan loved sports, but failed to make his high school basketball, basketball team as a sophomore, which is the same as our grade 10. He continued to practice and made the team the next year. Eventually, he won, went on to be selected by the Chicago Bulls as the third pick of the 1984 NBA draft. He said at the time of being drafted that his goal was to win an NBA title. But it took Jordan seven years before he was to achieve his goal, even though he was named in the All-Star team in his first season and named the league's Rookie of the Year, his skill alone was not enough to win an NBA title. Season after season, the team would get into, into finals contention, but would be outplayed by the other teams. During this time, Jordan got injured, missed important shots, and failed to always work as a team player. Importantly, by losing important games, Jordan learned what things he needed to improve on. He built his physical strength, practiced areas of the game that needed improvement, but most importantly, began to trust his teammates to take on more responsibility during games. By doing this, the Chicago Bulls probably became the best team the NBA, NBA has ever seen. They won six titles during the 1990s and allowed Jordan to achieve his goal of winning an NBA title six times over. Whilst none of us will ever probably have the profile of Michael Jordan, I can see how his journey is common to us all. That is, setting a goal, working hard, failing many times, but eventually achieving what you have set out to do. For me, many of my goals have been set in a sporting context. In sailing, I've had many disappointments. There have been many races and regattas that I have not achieved the results I had set for myself. This was a result of many things, weather, gear breakage, but many times by mistakes I made. But I believe that these mistakes have ultimately made me a better sailor and as a consequence allowed me over time to successfully achieve some of my goals. School football is another good example. Last year, the first 18 had the goal of winning the Sardis Grand Final. We trained hard and reached the Grand Final. At half time, the scores were fairly even, and I think the expectation was that we would get the win. As many of the boys know, this is not how the game turned out. The Scots boys outplayed us in a 10 minute goal scoring blitz that effectively played us out of the game. Whilst very disappointing, there is no doubt that the lessons that we took from that game will help us eventually win a grand final. Everybody will, in their opinion, fail at some point in time. But true success is the ability to never give up, even if you have failed in the past. Success and opportunities come from the courage of trying again and again. And if you are willing to be that person who ne never gives up, you will be admired for your strength of character. If you try to achieve something and it doesn't pay off, the journey you have taken in the attempt to achieve that goal will eventually help you to succeed. Many times, the journey is more satisfying and meaningful than achieving the goal itself. If something gets hard, 
don't chop your head and throw the opportunity away. Use the opportunity to grow and see how far you can push yourself. But keep a balance. Don't push yourself so hard that you lose the love of what you are doing. Whether that is playing music, studying maths, or trying to become an AFL footballer. The second part of what I'd like to talk about is being grateful for the connections that help us achieve our goals. By connections, I mean families, teachers, coaches, friends, and the community. These are the people that make it possible for us to achieve our goals. They provide support, guidance, and encouragement. Without support from others, it would be extremely challenging for any of us to be where we are today. Often, we don't realise the support we, re we receive, but the value of what people do for us is enormous. For example, I come from a family with no sailing background. Whilst they support me in completely, completely in what I do, I would not have been able to have the experiences that I have had without the additional support of my sailing club, the Hutchins Sailing Academy, and many sailing coaches and volunteers. I will always be grateful for all of the people that have allowed me to pursue my goals. The contribution that the people around us make is something we are very lucky to have. The value of what someone can do for you cannot be underestimated and I encourage everybody to stay, to, I encourage everybody to take a step back and try and recognise what people do for you and thank them. In summary, there will always be someone out there that will, be, that will be better than you. If not today, then tomorrow. Don't worry about that. You don't always have to be the best. Just do your best. And remember, be grateful for the, for the support that you receive in the pursuit of your goals. Thank you.